Adam Shea here from Primetime Guitar. Today I'm going to be doing another installment in our Must Know Monday series. This one is going to be a sweet picking lick I think you should know. It's a pretty cool one, one of my favorites. Definitely in the style of Chris Story and Rusty Cooley and all those super shredder guys. Should be a fun one. We're going to jump right into it. Okay, so breaking this lick down right away, it's going to be an A minor sweet picking lick. It's basically going to combine two arpeggio shapes to form one whole flowing lick. They are going to be this shape and this one. So kind of the same starting point, just starting with different fingers. It should make a little more sense in a few minutes once we get through it. But let's jump right into it. If you're familiar with sweet picking, all of the basically rules do apply here. The uh, consecutive up and down strokes, pull-offs and stuff like that. If you're not familiar with it, I have another sweet picking lesson and you can check that out and that'll break down all the mechanics for you. So I'm not going to focus too much on that here, but I'll post a link to click on in the end of this video and that should help you if you don't know that. So getting right into it, we're going to start with our pinky finger on the 12th fret of the high E string. We're going to pull off to the 8th fret. And then we're going to go to the 10th fret of the B string. The 9th fret of the G string. We're going to go back up to the 10th fret of the B string. 8th fret E string. 12th fret again. And then start that whole thing over. Once we get back down there, it's going to go to the 10th fret of the D string, the 12th fret of the A string, pull off to the 7th fret of the A string, hammer on onto the 12th fret of the A string, and then go back up the shape. So, 10th fret of the D string, 9th fret of the G string, 10th fret of the B string, 8th fret of the high E string, and 12th fret. So what that is sounding like so far... And then from there, we're going to go back down that shape again, so it's going to be... So we get to the A on our pinky. And then right there, we're going to switch from our pinky to our index finger. It's kind of kind of weird to hit the same, I shouldn't say weird, but uh, interesting, not seen maybe a whole lot, to hit the same note. We're going to be hitting this A twice throughout, but it's going to be like that. It just kind of lays out better uh, note value wise. It you can usually get it fast enough that you won't notice it anyways, but it just lays out a lot better with that. And it definitely doesn't hurt anything. So after we get to this, from our first shape, we're going to switch to our index finger. We're going to go 12, 15 on the A string, 14 on the D string, 14 on the G string, 13 on the B, 12 on the high E, 17 on the high E, I'm gonna pull off back down to the 12, and go to the 13 again on the B string, 14 on the G string, back up the shape, 13 on the B, 12 on the high E, 17 on the high E, pull off again. And then we're going to go down the rest of the shape. So 14 on the D string, 15 on the A string, and then finish with the 12 on the A string. So that pretty much breaks it down for the mechanics. Just time to go practice it and work it all out. So that's going to be a wrap for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that lick and are able to take it and make it your own and do whatever you will with it. That being said, Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below, somewhere in this region. Never remember that one. 
we're trying to put out a couple videos a week, just high quality stuff that we think you guys should know, and hopefully we'll make you better guitar players. Uh, we're also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the social media outlets. Should just be Primetime Guitar. Search us, the little symbol that you see in our channel. That's going to be our symbol for everywhere. And yeah, just find us to stay up to date. That being said, I'm Adam Shea, and thanks for watching.